good afternoon students so in this video we will discuss about control charts now when we talk of statistical quality control there are basically three techniques of statistical quality control and those techniques are sampling inspection analysis of data and control charting in our previous video we have already studied about sampling inspection and the sampling technique of quality control today in this video we will discuss about how control charts are used in quality control so for that we first need to know what is control chart now here you can see control charts are graphical representation and are based on statistical sampling theory according to which an adequate sized random sample is drawn from each lot control charts detects variations in the processing and warn if there is any departure from the specified tolerance limit is there or not so to put it in simple word in control chart what we basically do suppose we have a product uh, we say we have a lot of 100 items okay now we have to do quality inspection of all that of that lot now it is very difficult for us to check each of those 100 items now in order to do quality inspection what we do we select a sample that sample can have 10 items 20 items 6 items 7 item that is completely the call of the manufacturer or it also depends on the type of product we are manufacturing so out of that 100 product we will take a sample say that sample has 10 item the sample size of that is 10 so for all those 10 items control charts will be drawn which is a graphical representation and by looking at that graph we can make out whether the quality of all those items are okay or not if the control charts gives us the indication that quality is okay so we will select the whole 100 items and if the control chart gives us the inspection that no the quality of the samples are not okay then we will reject the whole lot okay so first we need to know what are the different types of control charts now before going to different types of control charts let us see how a control chart looks this image shows how a control chart looks now there are five types of control chart in each control chart on the x axis we will put the information which depicts basically the type of chart that we are drawing here we will put the information of the different samples available now in the, all the five charts there are different types of information that are put on this x axis that information has to deal with the sample on y axis we, we will always plot the control lines okay the central one is the center line or the control line the topmost line will be known as the upper control limit and the bottom most line will be known as the lower control limit now these control limit basically tells us if the value goes out of this control limit that means it is out of quality okay so this is the upper most limit of the quality and this is the lower most limit of the quality okay now these lines this line and this line these are optional these are basically warning lines what do you mean by warning lines whenever any information or any observation goes out of this warning line that means it is the time of risk it is the time when we really need to do something otherwise if we will not do anything the quality will go out of control so these are optional these are not available in all charts the three line that you always see is the upper control limit control limit and the lower control limit now let us see what are the different types of charts now here you can see the different types of control charts are basically of two types control charts for variables and control charts for attributes now in control charts for variables we plot x bar chart and r chart the name of x bar chart is mean chart and r chart is range chart for control charts of attributes we have p chart we have np chart and c chart for p chart we call it p chart is known as proportion defective chart and c chart is the or we can say the name of c chart is basically defective per group and np is number of defective chart okay so every chart has different name now the products which come under control chart for variables are those 
whose quality depends upon any variable that can be measured. For example, we have 100 bags of sugar and it is said that each bag should have 1 kg of sugar. Now, quality of those 100 bags will depend on what? It will depend upon the weight of sugar which is present inside that bag. So, all those bags that have 1 kg of sugar will be accepted and all those bags which will have less than 1 kg of sugar will be rejected. So, here qualities depend on, on what? On such a parameter which is variable and which could be measured and that is weight. Okay, so this will come under control chart for variable. Now, control chart for attributes contains those product whose quality is dependent say on appearance. If it is looking good, it is accepted. It is done okay. And if it is not looking good, it is rejected or it is said no. Okay, so all those product whose quality depends on answer yes or no or maybe good or bad those product will come under control charts for attributes now let us first see control charts for variables now control chart for variables are of two type or, or are two which are x bar chart and r chart okay so x bar chart is mean chart and r chart is range chart now in x bar chart you calculate the variable x double bar how you will calculate x double bar that we will see and in range chart you calculate r bar okay you calculate r bar over here how we calculate r bar that we will see okay now let us see for calculating x double bar in mean chart or x bar chart we calculate x double bar x double bar is, is calculated by adding all the means of all sample and dividing it by number of observation Similarly, R bar is calculated by adding all the ranges of all the sample given in the question and dividing it by number of observations. Okay. After calculating X double bar and R bar, we will calculate for mean chart. For X bar chart, we will calculate upper control limit which is calculated by the formula X double bar plus A2 into R bar and lower control limit is calculated by the formula X double bar minus A2 into R bar. And control limit will be nothing but x double bar. Okay, that will be calculated from the formula, this formula. Okay, now for range chart, what will you do? You will again find out three control limits, upper control limit, lower control limit and control limit. For upper control limit, the formula is r bar into d4 and lower control limit, it is r bar into d3 and control limit, it is r bar. Now you all must be thinking, what is this a2 and d4, d3? These a2, d4, d3 are nothing but constants which are dependent on type of product of whose quality inspection we are doing and these are generally given in the question straight away or if it is not given then you will be provided with some sqc tables and in these sqc tables this data is given here you can see this is an sqc table now here val different values of a2 d3 d4 is given here small d2 is also given where we use small d2 that we will discuss in later on in our videos. Today we will focus on A, capital A2, capital D3 and capital D3. Now how will you select? Now suppose the sample that is given in the question contains 6 items. So you will take all these value. Sample size is 6. So we will, you will take A2 this, D3 this, D4 this. So on the basis of sample size we select these numbers. Now let us see a question and then we can understand how we will solve any question now here you can see a question is given where it is written n or small m denote sample size now this question is given it is written that piston for automotive engine are produced by forging process we wish to establish statistical quality control of inside diameter of ring manufactured by this process using x bar chart and r chart 25 samples are given and each of size is 5 so each sample size is 5 now here you can see there are 25 samples so we will reduce it a little bit okay so here you can see there are 25 samples given and each sample there are 5 items now in exam generally such large question will not come because neither we have that much of space in our paper nor we have so much of time to solve this question so in exam you will generally find you have the sample number and you have the mean of each sample and range of each sample. But this is an elaborative question where all the items of each sample is given and you can all, you can calculate mean and range yourself. So here you will see there are 5 samples. Now these sample denote what? These sample denotes inside diameter of ring that is being manufactured. 
now the quality will depend upon the magnitude of the inside diameter there must be some limit ki suppose if 74 is the diameter then only the quality is good if 73 is the diameter then it will be rejected so for all these five item you will calculate mean how will you calculate that you will add this 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 and divided by 5 you will get mean for this sample number 1 then range for sample number 1 is calculated by subtracting the minimum value of all these items minimum value among all these items subtracted by the maximum value of all these items now this sample number 1 has 5 item maximum value for this sample is 74.030 and minimum value in this sample is 73.992 so range will be 74.030 minus 73.992 take out your calculator subtract 74.030 Uh, subtract 73.992 from 74.030 you will get 0.038 this is how you will calculate mean for all the 25 samples and range for all the 25 samples after that what you have to do you have to calculate x double bar and r bar now x double bar you have seen the formula you will add all these means of all the 25 sample and divided by 25 you will get 74.001 Similarly, add all these ranges of twenty-five sample divided by twenty-five. You will get zero point zero two three, which is R bar. Once you have x double bar and R bar, now what you have to do? You have to select the A two, D four, and D three from the table, or it might be given in the question straight away. Generally, numerical में आपको straight away A two, D four, D three की value दी रहती है question में, ताकि आपको time utilize या time waste ना करना पड़े table के लिए. बट यहाँ पे हम देख लेते हैं हमारा सैंपल साइज कितना है पांच है हर सैंपल में पांच आइटम है तो सैंपल साइज फाइव के लिए ए टू कितना है जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सेवन ओके डी थ्री कितना है जीरो है और डी फोर कितना टू पॉइंट वन वन फोर और लेटर सी क्या वहां पे वही दिया है हाँ यहाँ पे देखिए ए टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सेवन को जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एट लिया है राउंड ऑफ करके डी फोर टू पॉइंट वन वन है डी थ्री जीरो है सिमिलरली जब ये वैल्यूज आ गई तो अपर कैलकुलेट अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट कैलकुलेट करिए एक्स बार चार्ट के लिए विच इज एक्स बार प्लस ए टू आर बार लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट एक्स डबल बार माइनस ए टू आर बार ठीक है अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट इज एक्स डबल बार प्लस ए टू आर बार लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट इज एक्स डबल बार माइनस ए टू आर बार वैल्यू आ गई अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट एंड लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट सेवन ये क्या डिनोट कर रहा है अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट हमको बता रही कि पिस्टन रिंग की मैक्सिमम वैल्यू सेवेंटी फोर पॉइंट जा सकती है अगर इन साइड डायमीटर इससे ऊपर है तो वो खराब क्वालिटी का है और अगर इनसाइड डायमीटर 73.98 से नीचे है तो भी वो खराब क्वालिटी का यानी रेंज हमारी एक्सेप्टेंस की क्या है 73.98 से लेकर के 74.01 तक उसी तरह आर बार चार्ट के लिए आप अपर लिमिट लोअर लिमिट कैलकुलेट करिए अपर लिमिट डी फोर इंटू आर बार लोअर लिमिट डी थ्री इंटू आर बार वैल्यू आ गई अपर लिमिट क्या है जीरो एंड लोअर लिमिट जीरो ये वैल्यू आने के बाद आपको कुछ नहीं करना है सीधे आपको प्लॉट कर देना है चार्ट यहाँ पे देखिए एक्स बार चार्ट प्लॉट है एक्स बार चार्ट में क्या करना है एक्स एक्सिस पे यू हैव टू प्लॉट द सैंपल नंबर्स तो वन टू फाइव वन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सैंपल हैं वो सब हैं हर सैंपल के लिए आपको उनका मीन प्लॉट करना है क्योंकि उनका मीन ही आपका डायमीटर बता रहा है रिंग का ठीक है और एक्स एक्सिस पे तो आपने सैंपल प्लॉट कर दिया वाई एक्सिस पे क्या प्लॉट करेंगे वाई एक्सिस पे हमेशा तीन लाइन ड्रॉ होती है जो कि आपकी कंट्रोल लाइन होती है अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट होती है और लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट होती है अब सभी सैंपल के लिए जब आपने मीन प्लॉट कर दी तो आपने देखा कि सारे मीन अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट और लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट के अंदर ही हैं यानी सारे रिंग के डायमीटर इन लिमिट्स के अंदर ही हैं यानी सब रिंग की क्वालिटी ठीक है क्योंकि किसी का भी डायमीटर कंट्रोल लिमिट के या क्वालिटी लिमिट के बाहर नहीं जा रहा तो आपके सारे रिंग्स अच्छे हैं और हम उन्हें परचेज उन्हें मार्केट में भेज सकते हैं सिमिलरली आप आर चार्ट भी प्लॉट कर सकते हैं आर चार्ट में आपको क्या करना है Y एक्सिस पे अगेन कंट्रोल लिमिट अपर कंट्रोल लिमिट और लोअर कंट्रोल लिमिट प्लॉट करनी है और X एक्सिस पे हर सैंपल का आपको रेंज प्लॉट करना है और यही देखना है कि कोई भी रेंज का क्वालिटी कंट्रोल लिमिट के बाहर ना जाए सो दिस इज हाउ यू बेसिकली प्लॉट द X बार चार्ट एंड द R चार्ट ओके सो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी कुड कम अप विथ सम डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन X बार चार्ट एंड R चार्ट and we will also discuss the different types of control charts which are control charts for attributes so thank you